All right, Adam. After a tough loss, NCAA finals, uh, two-time NCAA finalist for you. Um, you knock him off in the duel. It's a barn burn at the Big Ten finals. Going into this one, you know that they they gamed you. You know you dominated him in that first match. What's going through your head? You get to that third period. You're right where you want to be. What's going through your head? I wanted to win it on my terms. I didn't want to go into the ultimate rideouts, winning on the rideouts or going the overtime stuff. It's too tricky of an opponent to try to go into overtime with it, so I wanted to win on my terms, so I went for a shot I thought it was there. He did a great job stopping it and closed it down really quick. So, I mean, that shows how great of an athlete he is. Yeah, I'm disappointed, but at least I went on my terms using my offense, even though it didn't work out too well. You know, looking at the success you've had at such a, you know, a large heavyweight, you're cutting down from 290s, 300s every week, um, you know, and, and Kyle taking the challenge to come and wrestle you. This has been a great series. It's been great for wrestling. What's it like knowing that this is one of the all-time great heavyweight finals in the history of the NCAA? What does that mean anything to you since you didn't win, or are you happy with the result that you know you at least got to try and make history? Yeah, you're asking me at a bad time on that one. <laughs> um, does it feel like the great, you know, a great heavyweight match? Yes, but I mean, you're looking at a multi-world wrestler, and you look at my accolades. I'm barely scratching. Uh, a couple of Americans. So, is it all time great? I think a couple of years back with Liz and him was probably a greater match. People will probably look at that one a little bit better than this one. Um, but, not to say I'm happy with the results, but I can accept them. You've had such an amazing career, you know, in freestyle, Greco Roman. You're just scratching the surface, like you said. I think you can be our guy if you want to be at 265. Is that something where you're going right to work? Are you are you looking at crossing over? Because you've done Greco, right? Yep. Are you crossing over to freestyle? What are you doing there? What are the plans in the future? We're going to take a little time off to start. Um, whether it's a week, whether it's a month, we're going to take a little time off. It's been a long season. Um, going forward, yeah, I want to wrestle freestyle. I want to wrestle Greco. Um, it's going to come down to, because they have a lot of new, um, new program to figure out who's on the team and stuff. So it's going to be a lot of jumbling, trying to figure out if I can even have the opportunity to wrestle both. Um, it's going to come down to a lot of USA, um, a little bit of help as well as um, on our end, just trying to figure out ways that I can try to qualify for both. Um, but yeah, we're going to take a little time off and we're going to get back into it. You know, your aeronautical engineer, I mean, you, you, it, it's pretty amazing what you're going to be doing as a person after wrestling. There's life after wrestling for you. I'm hearing NFL rumors. There's so much ahead of you in your life right now. You know, this is just a stepping stone to, to greatness for you as a person. What's it like knowing that you're going to take wrestling and probably springboard into something greater? Let's hope it's a big springboard. We're just going to kind of take it one step at a time. As you said, this is just a baby step. This is just going to add fuel to the fire. And we're going to make leaps and bounds here coming up, but we're going to have to make those leaps and bounds somewhere. Stick it around, Ann Arbor? Yep. How far is Fowler Road from Ann Arbor? About an hour. About an hour. Minutes to an hour. So you're home, basically. Yeah. It's nice to be around home. Nice to be with the parents. Definitely need to go home and hang out with the parents a bit, see if I can chuck some hay bales, throw some wood around. I know Dad's going to be happy to hear that, but we're going to figure out something. Hey, man, congratulations. It's been a great watching you. Thank you. Hopefully you get into college co uh, coaching of some type. You can coach my son someday because you're the type of guy we're looking for, right? Thank you. Thanks, Evan.